please welcome to the stage Yorkshire's finest meat theme double act, the Delightful Sausage! <laughs> Y and an M and an A in that order. <laughs> but my name is Christopher Louise. And I guess you could call me uh, Tony Manga. <laughs> but it's not my name. <laughs> and together, for better or worse, we are the Delightful Sausage. Woo! Oh, thanks. Uh, boom, 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 let me hear you say whale. Whale. And whale unto thee. <laughs> Um, give us a cheer if you've seen us before. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for coming back. Um, who is it their first time? Yeah. Oh, what a mad thing to come to. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well, don't worry. If you've not seen us live before, you might have seen us on the telly. Oh, no. <laughs> I've gone shy. <laughs> oh. I'm back. He's back. <laughs> We are, of course, the hosts of ITV6's Incest Island. Brilliant show, and it really is so good to see so many of the contestants yeah. in here today. How are you doing, pal? Is that you? Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> We're the brains behind Celebrity Cuckolding with Cat Dealey. See that? That's right. Every single one of Patrick Kilty's tears down to us. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Um, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> But also, who can forget Britain's next top pensioner? Well, that one's... that's on broadcast. Oh, right. Great show. Great crew. We're having such a laugh. But, fortunately, it took a bit of a turn when some teenagers broke onto the set. You know, R.I.P. Glennis. <laughs> but, you know, she died as she lived. <laughs> On her, on her back. <laughs> Surrounded by a semicircle of teenagers with their phones out. OK, so thank you so much for coming. Uh, <laughs> we've, not, we've not done this for a little while, so we did it in Edinburgh, and we've not done it for a little while, so we might be a little bit rusty uh, doing the show. But don't worry, if there are any fluff-ups or anything like that, we are going to donate to charity. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes, that's right. <laughs> Any fluff ups today, and me and Amy are going to come together and we are going to donate one roller to a little girl in Keighley. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, we've been working with little Hannah Mulder now for several years, yeah. and uh, Amy, how's she doing? She's not well. She's <laughs> not good. She's not She's great. Not Type well. 2 diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got a feeling by the end of today we might get her up to time 3. <laughs> little Hannah. Uh, I've, got, I've got one question for you before the show begins. Are you ready to be kind and open-minded? <laughs> Yay! I've got another question, guys. Don't know if it's going to be of any use in the next one minute and 38 seconds, but uh, can I get a heave-ho? Heave-ho! Yes! Good. And guys, please, Scoop up your prolapse and keep in your cataracts. <laughs> because this is... No, it's but C. <laughs> With their careers in the doldrums following the unexpected death of a pensioner, Things are looking bleak for Yorkshire's most available double act, the delightful sausage. Please don't look at the back of the room. <laughs> However, they can't believe their luck when they receive a letter from a celebrity agent inviting them to his private island. And please don't look at the back of the room. <laughs> but little do they know that their ordeal is only just beginning. Gather round, young'uns, and I'll tell you a true story. A little jolly boat off to meet you to heave ho, heave ho. Two sausages, 
salty dogs all covered in spew. Heave ho! Heave ho! The barometer has dropped and it's looking like thunder and the swell is risen and is it any wonder if Christopher and Amy are covered in chunder? Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! Ladies and gentlemen, delightful sausage on the starboard bow! Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Heave ho! Heave ho! The delightful sausage are doing their best. Heave ho! Heave ho! Have a big old lovely wink in public. Yes, yes. Says who? That judge. Right. Get that letter out. Any time now. The suspense. <laughs> Amy, that one says urgent. Do not ignore. What? What have you even bought that one for? <laughs> Thought I might finally open it up. <laughs> Do a bit of light reading on me Ollie Bobs. Please don't call it that. Sorry. Holiday Roberts. <laughs> Get the invitation out. Invitation. What does it say? OK, so this just says... Dear Amy and Christopher Louise. <clears throat> Dear Amy and Christopher Louise, I am Cedric Lachey, elite celebrity agent to the stars. I'm writing to invite you to my personal island retreat to discuss your exciting future. It's very fancy, but does it say where we need to go? What do we need to do? Uh, no, after that it just says... I'd also love to recount tales from days gone by, <laughs> such as when I met my first client, the inimitable Ken Dodd, in a Sunderland cum dungeon. <laughs> Probably enough reading now. He was touring his musical act, Ken Dodd and his oiled up Ken Sex Fuck Pigs. Okay, stop it! That's enough of that. And then there's nothing further, there's just his curly whirly signature. I didn't say where we should go. So we don't actually know anything about this Cedric Lachey. I mean, we should have searched him. Have you binged him? Binged him? I haven't even met him yet, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> no, I mean, have you looked him up on the internet? Oh, right, no, no, I've used up all my online data. Uploading my online content. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you have asked Jeeves? Oh, Amy, you know I don't use the world wide internet. <laughs> what do I always say? You always say she was never in that coffin the queue for an empty box. <laughs> About the internet. <laughs> All right, you always say uh, the internet is for dweebs in slipknot t shirts with wall mounted samurai swords <laughs> who have to take time off work for depression due to there being women in Star Wars. <laughs> I love that bit because we've written some of that just snags off the only people that have consistently supported us <laughs> since 2017. Thank you. <laughs> but Amy, <laughs> logging on to the internet superhighway, that's how they get you, innit? I won't get you. The Illuminati. HMRC. 
Donald Trump. <laughs> you know he's not president now, don't you? Who is it then? Um. <laughs> I don't think they've got one now, have they? Right. So we don't actually know all about this fella. I mean, Amy, what if he's a wrong un? Chris? He's a white millionaire with his own private island. <laughs> He's hardly going to be up to out dodgy, is he? <laughs> Just nervous. It's a big opportunity for us, this. We'll be rubbing shoulders with the rich and the famous. We might finally get to meet my idol, Victoria Corrin Mitchell. <laughs> You're obsessed. Hey, and we can finally take you down off only fans. <laughs> Don't want to come down off only fans. <laughs> do you know what? It's the best job I've ever had. All I have to do is make videos of me putting my feet in jelly and we are absolutely raking it in. <laughs> Can you get someone else to film it? At least let me wear goggles. It keeps getting me in eye. You should be grateful of the work. Mr Squelch1257 is single-handedly keeping us afloat. <laughs> and you in caffeine shampoo. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 it's a moot point, doesn't matter, because this isn't the right place, is it? There's no here, there's no people, no buildings. <gasps> Fuck my tiny little chip hole. <laughs> do, you, do, you think, do you think we've been pranked? Pranked? What brazen toss pottery? <laughs> of course we've not been pranked, we're beloved, you know. Unless... Mulhern. <laughs> Why would ITV Stephen Mulhern want to prank us? Well, you remember when he was a celebrity guest judge of that talent competition? You know the one where we were robbed? Oh, well, no. To be fair to him, all he said was, we weren't quite technically, you know, under 12. <laughs> <laughs> he might have got the wrong end of the stick, you know, thought that we'd done something to his car. <laughs> Had we? I didn't even confirm not, did I? Oh, brilliant! <laughs> so we're stuck on this crap hole island thanks to Mulhern's Revenge, which sounds like a shit IPA. <laughs> right, that's it. He's done it. He's going on the list. Ooh. Ooh. The list. Who else is on that list? Well, this is a list of everybody that's ever wronged us, so it's both long and plentiful. Uh, who have we got here? Well, we've got that idiot that gives a ticket for parking on a gravestone. Yeah. Um, we've got Colonel Whippy for fans of Cannon. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> After our 2019 show, we've got the BBC Comedy Commissioning Team. <laughs> no! No! You leave them alone! <laughs> they love regional talent. <laughs> Just ideally wish it had done four years at Cambridge first. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, Elon Musk, obviously. obviously. <laughs> and a new addition, Ant and Dex, chief scag gobbler himself, <laughs> Stephen Mulhern. <gasps> well, I've got someone to add to your list. <laughs> Big John. And what be his client? <laughs> <laughs> Just put. Breaking my heart into a million pieces. Oh. Oh, don't worry about that, kid. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah, well, I can't see any. Just loads of non-biodegradable wet wipes and some seagulls that promise to be kind and open-minded, but I think you're losing their patience. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been a dog shite of a day. Let's just get back in the boat. Get back to mainland, get home. Pass me the oars. <laughs> <laughs> I threw them away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you threw them away? <laughs> I threw them away. You get another pair. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you're thinking of chopsticks. No. You are. No. Yes, you are. No, but you get another pair. Come in a... Brown paper sleeve. Oh, <laughs> a bottle of soy sauce on the table. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> young Daniel comes over. How are you doing, I say? What are the specials? And we're both laughing. Because <laughs> we both know that I'm having a number seven, which is chips. <laughs> you having a 
great night, do you know what I mean? Like, you get a bottle of jam shed on the go, yes, the only nice red wine. <laughs> the night's going by and you don't want it to end. But then young Daniel's putting chairs on the table. He says, hang about, me and a few of the lads. <laughs> Celebrating a sat. Off into town, do you want to, do you want to come with us? See, you don't want an old foggy like me cramping your style. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> And you have the best night of your life. <laughs> you haven't been out since 2002, you know, when you throw a bottle of piss and that's the insolence. <laughs> Try as you might, you don't regret it. Um, you're having a great time, you don't want it to end. You're in Bradford City Centre, the best city in the world. <laughs> Only place where you've got a walkabout and a vodka revolution in the same building. <laughs> Kangaroo steak for dinner? <laughs> Watermelon vodka for afters. <laughs> That's my night! <laughs> you're having the best time with your young friends. <laughs> but it's time to go home. <laughs> and then Daniel says, I know a place where we can go. So we go through the streets, under the moonlight, cobbled streets. We've still got them up there, mate. <laughs> and we walk and we walk, and then we see it. A big red wall, 20 foot tall. And there's a guy outside, a guy, how you doing? Um, <laughs> young Daniel gives him 50 quid. And he shows us in, and we're inside. Bradford's secret zoo. <laughs> I didn't think it existed. But then we get a personal guided tour. We got the aviary, two parakeets. Um, we got a dog, but it's next to a lion. So it's really impressive, there's a million tarantulas. Um, and then the tour finishes up with the creme de la creme. A room surrounded by velvet curtain, spotlighted. In the middle, a small cage. It's made of brass. Nothing fancy. <laughs> Little curtain around it. The guy opens it, and inside is a beast, the likes of which I have not seen before. <laughs> Ye big, four legs, and a bit of a long nose. I said, what's that? He says, a tapia. <laughs> and, for <laughs> and for 20 quid, <laughs> you can fuck it. Chopsticks! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What are we gonna do? We're trapped here! How are we gonna survive? How are we gonna decide who to kill and eat? One, two, three, paper! Why do I always pick paper? Oh, it's all right, just calm down, you're gonna be fine! Amy, I'm panicking, it's not like Aston we're gonna deliver to an island in the middle of the fucking sea, is it? Well, let's not slag Asda off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree. Asda offer a wide range of household essentials, as well as convenient services such as click and collect and scan and go. <laughs> what? She's lost it! I don't want to be stuck on the island with a mad cow. I don't want to be stuck here with you. I want to be on the mainland, connected to the Wi-Fi, checking Big John's Instagram stories to see if that tattooed bitch with a clip ring really is his nana. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now. Let's just make the most of it. No panic. You know what? Might even be fun. Tick, 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 tick. Time passes. Tick, 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 tick. Survival log, date unknown. Help never came, and our situation looks increasingly bleak. I'm doing my best to keep morale up. Hey, me love. Smile, it might never happen. More time passes. Tick, 
with no food left, we've taken to sucking on our coat buttons to quell the maddening hunger. Chris? Yeah? Can I have another button? That and all. Oh, you've got a zip on you, you tight bastard! <laughs> and yes, even though Amy is my best friend, I'm finding myself increasingly preoccupied with the thought of wanging her inhaler into the sea. Ooh, what a lot of time passing. It is clever. It is clever. Do you know what? Um, I can't knit, so we had to get Chris's mum to knit this. <laughs> that this will be my last entry. Chris? Yeah? Have you got any regrets? Oh, regrets? Jesus. Right, well, I guess if I'm a time again, you know, I probably wish I'd have done that shit on Stephen Mulhern's bonnet. <laughs> Roof, boot and wing minutes. Right. Uh, what about you? No, you know my motto? No regrets. That's a very bold statement for somebody with a Wolf Harris tattoo. <laughs> do you know what? If I had my time again, I do wish I'd have met the one. I've got to call bull spit on that one, love. You have famously met plenty of ones. <laughs> Often at the same time. Occasionally with their wives. Ken? <laughs> <laughs> And out of your litany of shit blokes, which one do you think's been the worst? Oh, good question. Um, well, Tim never had any money for his share of the bills, but he could always afford his joker bobbleheads. <laughs> Plural, even Leto. <laughs> Sick bastard. <laughs> one day he said to me, Amy, why so serious? <laughs> and I said, because I've got a CCJ, because of you, you little cunt. <laughs> then there was Mr X. Oh. We'd meet under the cover of moonlight in a lay-by, and we wouldn't kiss on the mouth. He'd just come on my old boots and drive away. <laughs> <laughs> suppose the only really good one I've had, like really good one, is Ed. Eh? Amy, he was a blood relative. Ed? No, he wasn't. Ed? <laughs> Ed's my dad's brother. That is not a thing. <laughs> Man. Well, you should have got a type, I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. I like a big-fingered narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you what, they've all got the same trait. I don't know why, but for some reason, they all display their DVD collection like it's their entire personality on a shelf. <laughs> and it's always the same DVDs. Fight Club. <laughs> Alien. <laughs> Aliens. Alien Steel Tin Edition. <laughs> Carlito's Way. Day of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Villain's Head. Army of Darkness, the 88 minute international edition. Um, old Boy. Barb Wire. God. Godfather 1 and 2, not 3, obviously. obviously. The Matrix Reloaded and Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. <laughs> Just wish for once I could meet someone different, you know, someone with... What, uh, social skills, base level, personal hygiene, empathy? Well, at the very least, Blu-rays. <laughs> Amy, can you hear that music? Yeah? What is it? Well, it must be coming from somewhere around the island, perhaps. We are not alone and salvation looms. Come on, let's doff follow it. Yeah, okay, let's do it.
What elite celebrity agent, Cedric Lachey? <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Exposition. I think they get it. <laughs> right, I'm going to talk to him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let me talk to him. He's my sort of people, isn't he, after all? You know, I am the middle class one. <laughs> How'd you work that out? Oh, I grew up two streets over from a grammar school. Oh, no. Hello! <laughs> Hi, we're here. Hello, tis I, Christopher oh, Louise. Oh. Yes, here at thine best, accompanied as ever by my humble, big titted manservant, <laughs> David Amy Eddie Clayton. Yes, in the flesh of just. Truly, my life's honour to meet you. <laughs> Enchanté, <laughs> which is French. Oh. <laughs> hey, you keep that throbbing knuckle in your neck. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry that we're late. We've, we thought we'd been pranked. What? What's the? Map on my invitation, not clear. Was that a map? Oh, I thought it was your curly whirly signature. Sorry. <laughs> I had marked toilets here in the middle. <laughs> Don't matter, no harm done. We're here now. Oh, my poor dears, you must be absolutely famished. Can I get you something to drink, something to eat? Please. Oh, no, thank you. I'm absolutely full of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Cadbury's? No, no, Matalan. <laughs> Matalan? Matalan, yeah, you know, a pack of mats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, of course we've not eaten our coat <laughs> when we've been on the island for... 18 minutes. That would be insane. <laughs> Can I say, you've got a beautiful home here, Mr Lachey. <laughs> please, 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 call me Cedric. Oh, <laughs> well, that draft of Uber all that is, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Call me Mr. Lachey. <laughs> How rude of me. Let me take you on a guided tour. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> this house and its grounds were built in 1759 by some very nice young chaps who had absolutely no say in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that photograph it's. Why, yes, Kerry Katona. She was one of mine. Oh! <laughs> oh, you like your hand sanitizer, don't you, Mr. Lachey? It's absolutely everywhere. Yes, Amy, I believe personal hygiene for you of the utmost importance. Oh. <laughs> oh, and all these books. A level physical theatre. How to stage walk down corridors. <laughs> I've never read it. Oh, <laughs> oh indoor hedge. <laughs> and what about that statue over there? <laughs> Amy, done that to you. Looks a bit like yeah. Boise and Marlene. Marlene. <laughs> the only fools and horses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's handcrafted from the finest Italian marble. <laughs> I've got a question. Yeah. Um, is it still called scissoring if it's bummel to bummel? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it goes by many names. At Eton, we call it the Prefect's Pudding. Right, right. Oh, step down. Oh. 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 This whole room oh. is wall-to-wall -wall waterbed. Is it? Yes. White clean. <laughs> Back up. And what about that ominous steel door over there? The one with the locks and the bolts and that. I want to know what's in that one. Oh. Oh, but behind there, it's, um, it's private. Private? I'm on to you, pal. That's your man cave, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, my man cave. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one of those. It started out life as a shed, but I converted it to a replica set of Victoria Conan Mitchell's Only Connect. <laughs> I've yet to get a question right. It's fucking hard. <laughs> what do you keep in there then, Mr Lachey? Is it your DVD collection? <laughs> oh, my DVD collection. <laughs> oh, Amy, no. I find the idea of displaying physical media absolutely abhorrent. No. <laughs> I stream everything. <laughs> Chris? Yeah? Something's happening down there. 
feel like I'm sat on a foot spa. <laughs> um, what sort of things do you stream then, Miss Lachie? Is it things like Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight and that? I've uh, never heard of things like Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight and that. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess being something of a cinephile. Mucky. <laughs> now, are you aware, Amy, of the work of pre-French new wave author Henri-Georges Clouseau? Clouseau? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did he do The Fast and the Furious? The work of Clouseau deals with three important themes. Deception. <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> and ultimately, Violent death. <laughs> Violent death? Oh, yeah. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I should love to give you a private screening. <laughs> Dolby surround sound. Ooh. 4K streaming. <laughs> Chris. Yeah? I'm streaming. <laughs> You filled your docks. Ah, here we are at your room. Now, I've picked some clothes for you to wear, if that's okay. <laughs> I shall see you down here at 7 pm sharp to discuss business and for a few mm -hmm, mm, cocktails. I shall see you then. For now, I shall bid you adieu. Oh, bless you. Lord Chris. What a lot of acting. <laughs> what a it? Quite a lot of big choices. Real big choices. <laughs> Quite slippy. <laughs> <laughs> right, turn around, I'm going to take my top off. Don't look. Um, Chris, can I ask you a question? Yeah? What do you think of Cedric? He's different, isn't he? Well, he's certainly eccentric. It's your classes for you, isn't it? You know. He's uh, a bit unusual, uh, very hygiene conscious. Oh, yeah. Did you notice all those bottles of hand sanitizer everywhere? <laughs> yeah, certainly noticed his big glistening fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Could probably only. <laughs> Could probably only take two. Three if I was really frothing. <laughs> She's fucking wrong, though! Oh, sorry! That's all right! <laughs> fucking hell! What? <laughs> <laughs> what a record show! He's a mucky bugger! Hey! <laughs> and he's off limits! Can't have any old mucky libido ruining our shot at the big time! I haven't even packed my mucky libido, I've only got my armbands in case there's a swimming pool! <laughs> I'm talking about your lie or your dickhead, I'm talking about your sex drive! Chris, it's normal to have a sex drive! Just because you're only interested in boglins and new metal. <laughs> you're being mean. Sorry, sorry. Look, to be fair to him, right, once a year he puts a sock on the bedroom door and I don't know what goes on in there, but once I nipped in to get my phone charger and the whole place was bathed in candlelight and there was framed pictures of Victoria Corrin Mitchell <laughs> all over the floor and he had romantic music playing, you know, um, a top loader dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> and I don't know what was happening in there, let's just say the whole room smelt like somebody had left a yoghurt on a radiator. <laughs> <laughs> Shush! That's called an audience with the angel, and it's very private. <laughs> now, come on, if I'm to stand a chance of getting into this jacket that Mr. Lachey's left me, you're gonna have to help me pop some of these spots on my back. Oh. oh, Chris, they're massive, they're like boils. Right, I'm gonna go get the goggles, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you nipping! Ugh, got it. <laughs> oh, those bloody judgmental seagulls are back again. <laughs> Shoo! Be away with you. <laughs> You can stay. <laughs> now, cocktail time. Let's see what we have. 
Ah. Oh. Oh. Apple sours. Dripping. <laughs> 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 A fine vintage year, 2005. <laughs> the year Brian Harvey ran over himself with his own car. <laughs> Halcyon days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you found the uh, suit I left for you. <laughs> How did you know my exact size? <laughs> I'll check the, um, Measurements on your spotlight profile. <laughs> Quite the list of acting credits on there. Oh, thank you. Yes, my uh, one-man Lolita really did <laughs> rally the community. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell you what, while we wait it, you fancy a quick game of billiards? Oh, no, no, thank you. Amy's banned me from ball games ever since I had to have my stomach pumped after hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Wise and beautiful. Uh, mm. Speaking of, do you know where she is? Oh, you know what these chicks are like, Mr. Lachey? Oh, we shaving their backs to try and impress us. <laughs> <clears throat> Christopher Louise, <clears throat> feel free to tell me to, um, F the fuck off. <laughs> Have you and Amy ever, um, well, you know. What, me and Amy? Yes. Oh, God, no. I'd rather cut it off. Uh, <laughs> oh no, there was this one time. All I remember is it was very dark. We'd had some apple showers and dry ice. We were both squealing. And even I got told off for shooting a teenager in the eyes. It was the best birthday young Daniel's ever had. <laughs> Dress. No, sorry, I was shitting out a zip. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm late, Mr Lachey, what have I missed? Oh, a big hairy patch on your shoulder. <laughs> I meant conversationally, you little bitch. <laughs> I was just telling Mr Lachey about that time we took young Daniel to, uh, to Laser, Laser Quest, Quest for yeah. his birthday. Oh, yeah. my God, you had a panic attack, didn't you? <laughs> He shot a ten-year-old girl in the eyes and he was crying more than she well, was. Well, well she, she was a teenager and she, she'd been t told off multiple times for running. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have you both here. Tell me everything. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, OK. Um, well, we met on the baby circuit, didn't we? Yeah. The baby circuit? Oh, yeah. Baby oh, yeah, circuit. you know, the, the baby circuit. <laughs> You got a film or a TV show and you need a baby, what do you do? Two options. First one, you got plastic. Second one, you pump up the cash and you got meat. <laughs> that's what me and Amy used to do. Amy was a famously bonny baby, oh. always getting cast in stuff. <laughs> well, Chris was busy too, um, although more of a niche booking. Yes, alas, for I was a baby. <laughs> Go on with... <laughs> <laughs> Such inauspicious beginnings. <laughs> OK. Yeah, fine. <laughs> but we're doing all right now, I can tell you. We've done it all. We've even done a royal birthday. Ooh, yeah. Must have been quite the earner of that Oh, one. it was, it was. It was £8.72 an hour. <laughs> we were working at a Pizza Express in Woking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... Sure, in my capacity as an elite celebrity agent to the stars, I can issue a dramatic reversal of fortune. <laughs> We're not here, mate. Mm. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're certainly be able to take you down off OnlyFans. <laughs> You've seen my OnlyFans? And can I talk to you about my solo projects, too? I've just finished working on my debut album. It's world music. 
And I'd love for you to listen to it, Cedric. Oh, please, please. Call me Mr. Lachey. I've really must insist. <laughs> this is all brilliant, Mr. Lachey, but can I just ask, why us? What do you mean, why us? Because he's got taste. Leave him alone, you silly bollocks. <laughs> I must admit, I've had my eye on you for quite a while. See, he's had his eye on us. Both of us equally. Yeah. <laughs> Such a bonny face. Yeah, a bonny face of my early onset pubes. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> I did like it. Did you? Yeah. Um, Apple. Mr. Mr. Lush. Hello. Mr. Lush. <laughs> Oh, vinegar. Vinegar. Mr. Lachey. Mr. Lachey. If you've been looking at my spotlight profile, then you know I've got loads of special skills. I've done acting, more than a few Shakespeare's in my time. Um, I can do yo yo's, I can do broadband in rural communities, I can put wigs on men that are much taller than me. <laughs> But to be totally honest with you, I think I need to do a bit of work on that one. Um, and I think what I'm probably best at is that I can do running really, really fast. You can do running really, really fast? Yes. <laughs> well, why don't you prove it? OK. Toy, toy me. I also do accents. What was that one? New York City, baby! <laughs> right, time me! Wow. Alone at last. <laughs> Would you care for a top up of apple sours? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I had it um, delivered freshly this morning by Esther. <laughs> Ooh. What on earth was that? That's the Asda price feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've tried it myself. Oh, you should, but you need to be careful with apple sours. If you have too much, you'll do wild things. I once got a tattoo. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere very special, very private. <laughs> Somewhere I just can't show you. Please. Tell me where. It's on my dad's back. <laughs> oh. oh, here I am. Absolutely nowhere near Mr. Lachey and Amy. <laughs> but hark. What's this? <laughs> tis the ominous steel door from earlier on. Only this time, tis tantalisingly ajar. <laughs> Dare I doff peep? I, I doff. In the world of birds, the cuckoo is the laziest species of bird. They don't build their own nests. But they do fly all the way to Africa and back, so um, I'm not that lazy. But the point about the phrase, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, is that there is no cuckoo's nest. <laughs> what a long and strange bit of information, Cedric. That's exactly what Jimmy Carr said. Jimmy Carr? Yeah, Jimmy Carr. Hair like a Lego man and a laugh like a dog with a dick trapped in a vice. Right. <laughs> Amy. Mm -hmm. Feel free to tell me to, um, F the fuck off. <laughs> but, uh, do you find Christopher Louise to be sort of a, quite a bit like... Like a big toddler with a file of facts. <laughs> with a sort of attitude problem in there. <laughs> really rapidly thinning on top. <laughs> with uh, little pudding it is. <laughs> like that, that sort of thing. Not to have noticed, no, no. It's like a brother to me. And a father. And a really nasty aunt. <laughs> All wrapped up in a limited company. <laughs> I think what you need is a real man to look after you. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! 
Oh, Amy Eddie Gledhill. No, Cedric! Toilets here, La Shade. <laughs> the high resolution webcam doth not do you justice. Huh? <laughs> I am in the room. <laughs> A strange room. Um, I think I'll just describe some of the stuff I'm seeing out loud. <laughs> that sounds useful. But what have we got over here? Some CCTV monitoring equipment. That's weird. Sort of seems like we've been watched the whole time we've been here. Kooky. Um, <laughs> what have we got here? We've got a book. It says A level physical theatre, how to do two scenes on the same stage. <laughs> To be totally honest with you, I think we could have had that one a bit more closely. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? They've even got my solo projects that everybody definitely gives a shit about. <laughs> Including my brand new reggae album. Chris Cantrill. <laughs> Would you read him? Yeah, and then the scab fell off, and then I could just use it again. <laughs> and, you know, Chris has been gone quite a long time. I think I might go find him. Oh, yes, no, he was running rather fast, wasn't he? He could have run all the way to the Mandela wing. <laughs> no, 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 you stay there drinking apple sours and looking oh. ravishing. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and find him. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. It's time to change the nappy on the little bit. Before off the pampers, he got a full push. Don't clap that. No. But I tell you what, it fucking slabs. My, 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 aren't you a little peeper? Hmm. <coughs> Amy Lachey. Oh, <laughs> hello, I'm Amy Edward Lachey. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, hi, Big John. Fancy seeing you here. It's Amy Edward Lachey now. How's your Nana's clip ring? <laughs> <laughs> Lachey, burn in hell, Gary Barlow. <laughs> Fuck. He knows Gary Barlow. <laughs> wow. Sorry about that, oh. my wobbling terror. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, no, where were we? Is Chris all right? Yes, he's um gone to bed. Well, it makes sense. Room to himself. All these hand sanitizer everywhere. He'll be all tugged up thinking of VCM. Oh, sorry, that's Victoria Corrin. Victoria, yes. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm aware of her work. She's a striking woman, yeah. disciplined, humorous, very booby. <laughs> <laughs> but not a patch on your uh, lovely jumpers. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are flattering, Mr. Lachey. <laughs> please, please. Call me Mr. Squelch1257. You're my only fan. <laughs> I am locked in the room. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't do well in confined spaces. A wide open spaces on medium spaces. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Looks like Mr. Lachey's laptop. I better just have a little peep. Oh, Windows XP. <laughs> Someone's doing all right. <laughs> We've got a video file. Amy? Mm. Yeah. Recording? What was going on? Recording. Mm, all right. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Scott, 1257. Um, this one's, uh, this video is just for you. 
Um, thank you for your uh, subscription. Oh. <laughs> We're a lunatic. Oh, Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> hey, Blurda. <laughs> it's been a long time, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Truth is, I don't know if I ever believed in you. I do, but higher power always seemed kind of cruel to a baby like me, born on the wrong side of the tracks, with way too many pukes. <laughs> but you better bloody listen up there. Amy's out there with a loony tune, and I'm trapped in here. The door's locked, and it's only a very very small vent. And I'm hardly gonna fit through that with this ripped young tight fit hot board am I? But self-pity isn't going to get you anywhere, is it? Is that you, God? Not quite. I'm Victoria Conan Mitchell! Yes, and I'm going to help you escape. Yes! <laughs> You're my only fan. Yes. I'm a fully paid up gold level subscriber. And I don't regret a penny of it. And now you're finally here in the flesh. In the warm, wobbling flesh. Mm. Oh, well, you know, that's um, not nice. But, um, <laughs> do you know, I think I might go find Chris, actually, because it's about this time of the evening he has an existential crisis when he's mopping himself up and saying goodbye to his little swimmers. Um, <laughs> You won't find him. Is he playing hide and seek? No. Not hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> no. Look, it's, uh, it's very flattering that you support me putting my feet in jelly. Um, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to go. Also, no. Oh! <laughs> okay, right, yes, fuck, this is hard. But it's all on the line. If I don't solve this, I won't be able to help Amy. Let's look at the clues. Blue remix, Blue Baker song, end of a London tube line. Um, new metal, Bucklins, Chino Marino. No, for God's sake, come on, boy, think. The answer's right in front of you. Of course, don't you see? The answer's lube! <laughs> ah. <laughs> All those bottles of hand sanitizer that have been conveniently and consistently <laughs> laid out throughout the story. I'm sorry, it is clever, the times. <laughs> Actually, lube! This whole island, it's somebody's fuck palace! <laughs> and I can use it to escape. Thank you, Victoria. Please call me Mrs. Common Mitchell. Now go find Amy and escape this cursed isle. Amy, I'm a coming! <laughs> oh. Do you know, this is quite confusing actually because. Uh, a minute ago, I was really frothing over you, but you're quite strange, aren't you? Um, is it all right if you don't do anything weird or hurt me at all? 
No worries if not. <laughs> Gosh. Mm. Really quite unfortunate, isn't it? You're doing so well. I really did think you were going to get back. Get back? <laughs> what do you mean, get back? Oh, come here to me. Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> 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 Oh, he's water-based. Go on, have a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you keep them lips closed. He's not who he says he is. He's not Mr O'Shea at all. He's Mr Squelch. Squelch. One, One, two, two five, five, seven. seven. Yes, I know. That's pissed on my dramatic entrance, hasn't it? Sorry, is, th is this you trying to rescue me? Well, I'm not so sure about that now. It feels a bit old-fashioned, doesn't it? A man rescuing a woman. <laughs> You forgot how big he was, didn't you? He's massive! All oh, right, yeah, brilliant. Um, Chris, just, just, just grab him, grab him! I can't, I'm too looped up and like a human slip inside! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, he's oh. been knocked out! He's oh. knocked out, he's knocked, knocked him right out! out. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's not properly knocked out. Oh, I think I'm coming round. No, wait, no, no, yes! He's moving there, oh, there he is. Coming round now. Oh, oh, now he's coming round. He's coming round now. Waking up. So, why are you looped up? Oh, I've pieced all the entire puzzle together. Victoria Colin Mitchell helped me. Basically, I found a loop which allows me to put myself through the vent and come and rescue you. And the final piece in a puzzle, yeah, I found these gold shorts. Yeah, and I put them on. Yeah, and I look fucking great. <laughs> What's your plan now, sausage? Hey, there's only one way off this island, and I won't. Tell you unless you untie me. Should we untie him? Absolutely not, kid. He had you by the throat. Oh, Chris, my throat will heal. I'm worried about damaging a man's reputation. <laughs> <laughs> They're working your self-esteem, okay. kid. But absolutely not. But I tell you what, he seems quite keen on you, doesn't he? So why don't you, you know, go over there and charm the info out of him? Go on. Use your feminine tits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mr. Squelch. Um, hello. Uh, why don't you give us what we want, which is a way off the island, and and I'll give you what you want. A private show. Just you, me, some jelly, and my eleven little piggies. <laughs> what do you mean you've got jelly? That's what me fucking good. Look now, Mother! <laughs> oh, stop it, will you? I'm not interested in any of that weird shit. What do you mean you've paid a fortune for that weird shit? Yes. £12,570, to be exact. Otherwise known as the personal tax allowance. <laughs> What are you going on about? Are you even an agent at all? Yes, I'm an agent. I am an agent of Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. Oh, no, no. That means that, that, means that you're... Yes. I'm the tax man. <gasps> Fuck off. <laughs> My department specialises in that most slippery and elusive of prey. Light entertainers. What are you coming after me and Amy for? We don't even pay tax. <laughs> We've been trying to audit the delightful sausage for years. You must have got all the letters. The ones marked urgent, do not ignore. Letters? <laughs> Ah, well, it doesn't matter now anyway. Up until you two, I had a 100% success record. Dodd, Katona, Carr, Barlow. I got them all. <laughs> when I failed to bring you two to book, HMRC reassigned me. I couldn't have that. Bested by two mucky northern oiks. Do you, do you write for the Times? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
We seized this private island off Sir David Jason just over a year ago. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> And that's when the plan struck me. If I couldn't get to you, then I would go rogue and lure you to me. Through extensive research, I discovered that Amy seeks validation through weak, big-fingered, narcissistic men. <laughs> and Christopher Louise is a grubby social climber. <gasps> and a fucking terrible actor. <laughs> And between the two of you, I knew you couldn't withstand a free holiday, Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> and now, thanks to my hefty personal donation of £12,570, I have pushed you into the basic rate of tax. <laughs> Ergo, you are now tax evaders. <laughs> Oh, I've done it. <laughs> I finally got you, sausage. <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> How could you do this to us? How could you do this to me? I thought you were the one. The one. <sighs> oh, Amy. I've often found in my experience what doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger. <laughs> Christopher Louise, untie me. I know Victoria Corrin Mitchell. You know Victoria Corrin Mitchell? Yes, yes, she's related to my dad's brother. Your dad's untie brother's me. not a thing, Nobbed. No! No! What are you doing? God, grab his legs, grab his fucking legs! Oh. <laughs> Well, in fairness, they do fly all the way to Africa and back, so, you know, it's not that lazy. But, yeah, I mean, the whole point about the phrase one flew over the cuckoo's nest is there is no cuckoo's nest. So, yeah, that was very unfortunate because uh, you did really well. It did look as if you were going to get back. <laughs> Let's wrap this up because he's like cunts. That's not what he said. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for coming and watching the show. Just want to sort of type a little story loose end that was flying around. Um, Amy actually 
Ace the voice of Asta. <laughs> That's what all that was about. Um, and if you catch her outside, she'll tell you when the rollbacks are. <laughs> I'm not saying no, but you know, personal. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so so much for coming. It really means the world. It really, really does mean the world to us. Um, and if you enjoyed it, send us a little tweet because we love that. And um, if you didn't enjoy it, take that secret to the fucking grave. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to say, yeah. It really means a lot, everyone coming out for this sort of thing. It's been a bit of a day, it's been a long day. Um, Do it, cry. Not cry. Cry. It's, been, it's just been great, I just want to say we had a lot of fun doing this show, but it's been a long road to this, you know, like the last one was three years ago, everything stopped, you know, the industry stopped and stuff like that, so it's just been a long time, like three years. So, but I'll tell you something, kid. Feels an awful lot like we're back. <laughs>